Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Chef Nel Sasson, and today I'm making ghost meatloaf. For this recipe, we need ground beef, provolone cheese, salt, grapeseed oil, pepper, ketchup, eggs, cayenne pepper, Worcestershire sauce, breadcrumbs, green onions, and chopped parsley. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. For the meatloaf mixture, we need pepper, salt, breadcrumbs, cayenne pepper, Worcestershire sauce, one egg, chopped parsley, green onions, and ground beef, which I already put in. And once you put all those ingredients in, mix it with a fork. Once you mixed it, put aluminum foil or plastic wrap over the bowl, and then put it in the fridge for at least one hour. Coat your sheet pan with grapeseed oil. Scoop the meat out of the bowl and then shape it like a pear. Then after that, put it on a sheet pan and then bake it for at least 20 minutes. Use provolone cheese slices and then cut the middle with a cup. Take your ghost loaves out of the oven and then put some cheese on them. This recipe is really easy to make. I love Halloween. Like my favorite part about Halloween is the candy. Then after that, use the middle of the cheese slice on all the ghost loaves. We want them to be nice and cheesy. After we have done that, Put them back in the oven for at least 30 seconds until melted. Once your cheese has been melted, use a tip of a knife to poke holes for the eyes and the mouth. We're trying to make them look scary. You can make your ghosts look as scary as you want them to be. Use ketchup as blood and then smear it all over the plate. Use a spatula to put the ghosts on the plate. And then you'll see how cool and scary they look. This is what your ghost lobes should look like. Scary, right? And you guys also noticed that I got my braces taken off a couple weeks ago. I'm so glad I got my braces taken off. Thanks for watching and please make sure to like and subscribe. Peace and happy Halloween. Ooh.